Senator Matthew Samuda says in forwarding the ban on plastic, the government has acknowledged the need for and is fostering economic growth and development. One such step is moving to put a handle on environmental atrophy. Plastic ban has been announced since September 17th by Minister Daryl Vaz. It, it, um, it takes target at styrofoam, single-use plastic bags and of course plastic straws. What we have done as a government is acknowledge to the country that there can be no economic development that doesn't protect against environmental degradation. So we're taking a series of steps with our environmental policy. Among those items to be banned, plastic straws, single-use plastic bags and styrofoam, he notes that there are readily available alternatives. Well, you don't need a straw generally. We've just taken it as a habit. So there are biodegradable straws from bamboo and things like that, which I'm sure will take take place in the marketplace. Within the retail sector, we're recommending people use um, reusable bags. And then there are other materials that re replace styrofoam lunch kits. So there's, there's no shortage of alternatives. Senator Samuda says a public relations campaign is underway for public education on the upcoming ban. He was speaking at the Jamaica Labour Party JLP's 75th annual conference at the National Arena on Sunday.